Hello, everybody. This is Monkey Puzzle, and welcome to episode 14. <laughs> Playing the Dire Wolf 20 FTB pack for Minecraft 1.7.10 on the Primus server. Hello, hello. So behind me, you see the Thomcraft stuff I started last time. Well, I figured I'm going to do Thomcraft one more time today because we are so close to doing all the cool stuff by the end of today. We should have a lot of the stuff that made all the rest of this worth it. And I can't wait. And I need to show you because I can't just do it all by myself and show up and like, okay, yeah, I've got golems and I've got wand focuses and everything else. Nope. We're doing it together. So let's get into it, shall we? So first thing is I didn't scan a lot of the things I've made so far in here. My starting back with my wand focuses and my pouch and everything else we need to scan all this stuff so that i can get whatever i'm supposed to learn from it when you make stuff in thomcraft you always got to do that because there's new things to be learned from everything you make and at the very least you'll be getting research points and look at all that that's a ton of stuff and we still have some more research to do even though we've done a lot of it most of it at least in the quote unquote vanilla thomcraft <laughs> uh, so we got that let's check out the uh, pouch what's the pouch got for us yep so we're stacking up research points didn't learn anything new yet we made the primal charms though and it did give us this message over here the for a strain for a moment strange energies surround the primal charm they dissipate quickly but you are left strangely inspired. All these trying to sleep at nights or sleep in the daytime things is just because the rain, <laughs> the rain is always coming. I don't think it's nighttime yet either. And it just gets in the way of my recording schedule and lowers my FPS and I want it to go away, but I can't. All right. Now, uh, the next thing is, let me see. Oh yeah, we were going to scan the charm. So let's see what we get. Oh yeah bunch of stuff but no new research yet so i'm just going to keep it in my inventory and see if something opens up and if i did get a new research i didn't notice ah i keep doing that i'm sorry i won't do that again so here we go mm, yeah i didn't see anything new and i think it would be in thaumaturgy there was no little uh glowy thing so anyway uh other things to scan would be these things I made over here. I haven't scanned arcane work tables. Did I scan the deconstruction table? No, I didn't. And what about this, the alchemical construct? Oh yeah. And the furnace, well, I guess it's just a crucible in this case. The, uh, yeah, this is the uh, automated alchemy. And here's the alchemical furnace. That's what I was talking about. And the arcane alembic. So that's a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, and we haven't scanned the warded jar yet. Or a filing cabinet. <laughs> so a bunch of research points. I'm not sure actually if there is something in this version that's going to open up or not. I know there's a primal wand. So that's probably what it's headed towards. I don't know. But anyway, we got all that stuff scanned. Let me throw all my foci back in here no that's yeah oh it's in there it's just it's glitching all right so the thing i want to go to first and i had a request from this by one of my subscribers is golems and the other thing i really want is some oh it's nighttime i can sleep i want some cooler wand foci i want the uh, focus of equal trade. So I can have the wand of equal trade. It's not called the wand of equal trade anymore. Just the focus of. And I want the portable hole focus. So we can just go through the floor and through the ceiling and everything else. Um, we can kind of do that right now with our staff of traveling. But it's not quite the same thing. So yeah. And to do a lot of that. I'm going to need to get some more aspects in the warded jars. And I've got a lot of the stuff I need here. Probably not all of it. But the first ones I want to do are these. Because I'm going first for the alchemy golem. Or the golem with the alchemy core. 
So just to show you real quick what we're headed for right now. I want to make, I'm going to do clay golems. I think they're a good, um, good compromise, middle ground between all these different kinds of golems. And I just like what they look like. I'm not sure if they're the best for what I need or not. But I'm going to need Humanus, Modus, and Spiritus, or Spiritu for that. Uh, I don't know which it is. Spiritus, Spiritu. Spiritu sounds a little cooler, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, and we'll be doing that in the uh, alchemical construct and then they need the cores to go with them so i'm going straight to the alchemy core because that one is going to do a lot of this work for me uh with the jars and the aspects and putting them in the jars and everything so might as well do that first because we're going to need lots of this stuff for all the things we're going to do so I've got everything I need for that, Procancio, Aqua, except the Modus. So that's going to get me there too. So I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, oh, I already got them in here, start cooking these things into their aspects. So Soul Sand has the Spiritus, so I'll use it for that, and I'll be getting a byproduct of the, uh, the Vinculum and the Terra. The Terra we'll need later anyway, and then the Rotten Flesh has some humanus and we'll get the corpus as a byproduct and trap doors are really good for modus and we'll be getting the arbor as a byproduct from that so i'm going to go ahead and get that done um, hopefully that will be the last manual uh, aspect extracting i'll do and from here on it will be the golem so while that's cooking though there's something else we can do uh, let's get this out of the way and in here i'm all set up to go ahead and make the runic matrix we're going to make the infusion altar and we're going to set it up over there so we got the cool little little uh four two by two rubik's cube that goes on top of it we need some arcane stone bricks that's just a straightforward crafting i think there wasn't any magic involved in that one and we're going to need a whole bunch of pedestals oh and these actually give me two each i think i'm going to need nine why don't we go ahead and make 10. I'm about to sneeze, so hold on a second. That was a nice, good sneeze. So let's grab that. We got 10 arcane pedestals. So and while I'm here, I'm going to grab these uh, mixed crystal clusters out of here because we're going to need those and a bunch of other things to decorate around our infusion altar to make it more stable. So the way you do this, and you've seen me do it before, it hasn't really changed since uh, Domcraft 4 came out, but we put a pedestal in the center, and I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, that we put the arcane bricks here, and then the arcane stone goes on top of those, and then we need to skip a space, so I need something, how about some dirt? We'll stick the dirt right there. Oh, <laughs> it wants to be on the pedestal. Here, we'll shift right click. And then we'll get the runic matrix. Boom. And then get ready for one of the coolest things in Minecraft. You guys ready for this? Bam. <laughs> what did I do wrong? I always do something wrong. Let's see. What is it? Did I put the... Should I put the arcane bricks on top? Uh, duke, duke, duke. Stone. Oh, I got to have aspects in my wand. That's what it is. And over here, what's this one got? This one can do it. Let's grab it. Time's a-wasting. Okay, here it is. Now that the suspense is really built... Coolest thing in Minecraft. Wham. <laughs> well, at least one of the very cool things, anyway. That is so neat looking. Yes, I like it. Okay, and then we take the rest of these pedestals, and we're going to put it around. Put them around. And I don't remember exactly the best way I'd figured out to do this before. Uh, let's say that way. Um, because sometimes... Things need to be placed in little odd patterns, and sometimes they need to be placed in other patterns. Actually, I think I did that wrong. 
Yeah, I did. I think before I've done it this way. Try again. I, anyway, yeah, I found this to be a very flexible way to do it. So there's one on each side like that, and then one in the corners. And then I can put things in triangles or squares, or you'll see when I do this. I haven't finished putting painted glowstone everywhere in my base yet, uh, but I will. For now, let's put the little torchy back so we don't get monsters in here. So there we go. We got our infusion thing. And meantime, I need to be tending to this. Let's throw that in there. And I'm going to grab my wordy jar jars and clean things up. Let's see what we got in here. We got 32 Terra. We got some Vinculum. We got Spiritus. We got Aaron joining the game. And some more of that stuff. So I'm going to finish this little chore up, and then we'll get back here, and we'll make some golems. Our first golem, at least. Okay. All right. So I think I got what I need here. Uh, let's see. What's this one? That's the arbor. That's just going to accumulate in there. You can kind of leave it alone, but I might as well grab it. And it's not quite done. Okay. So we're going to put one of those up here in case we need it for later. And then the modus which is in my hand for some reason. Let's attach it to here. So we got the Modus, the Humanus, and the Spiritus. I guess I should say Spiritus because we say Humanus and Modus. So that all goes together. And then um, while we're at it, let's grab a jar of Precantatio, the magic one. One other thing I'm going to need to do with that, that one could go here. So, here are our catalysts. If I throw brick in here, oh, not in there. If I throw a brick in here, it says, oh, I can make clay golems with that. Is that what you want to do? Yes. And we could probably make more than that with this. We could do uh, 16 of them. Um, and I think that would be a good start for now. So, that's cool. Uh, let's. Let's check on those. Yay, we got our little buddies. Okay, you guys. Do something. <laughs> they can't... Oh, that one's got a hat. <laughs> they can't do anything yet. No, they don't have cores, and they don't have all the other stuff. Poor guys. And actually, to pick these guys up again, I need to make something real quick. I'm going to need the Gollum Mancer's Bell. And let's just do that in any one of these. I think we're done with this. And there's put those back. Get in there. I need a Gollumancer's bell. Oh, and it needs stuff. Okay, fine. There you go. And then I'm trying to remember if it's left click or shift right click. Uh, one breaks them and they lose all their stuff. One keeps them intact. And I'm going to need to look that up again when they have stuff. Uh, but for now, we're good. So. This is probably, oh, this is probably done. Yep, we got lots of golems. Let's just put, uh, we're only going to use, I'm going to start with one for now. So we'll put those back just to make space. And then I'm going to throw this in here now, another recipe. And that's going to make a bunch of tallow, the rotten flesh and the magic. And we're going to need that also to decorate. What's wrong? Why won't you do it? What am I missing? Uh, I'll get that out of there. Is it because... Oh, there we go. Not sure where I messed up, but there it is. Making magic tallow. And if we combine those with some string, uh, like this... And you put some tallow, we get tallow candles. And I guess you can dye these too. Uh, let's see, do we have any dye in here? Got some orange. Can we combine it like that? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've got six white ones, six orange ones. Um, oh, I must have thrown them in here. Yep. And, uh, well, that's not quite the right number I need. I can do four and four. That's cool. So what we'll do is we'll put candles around here and that helps balance it. It makes it less likely 
to have problems when we're doing stuff because this is what we're going to need to do to make the golem core we're going to need to do some infusion uh alter stuff some infusion alter enchanting so that could probably replace that it must make some light and that and that and it's got to be symmetrical too so there we go and i think we can just walk through these they won't be too obstructive and we need more than that but if we put them all over the ground uh it's going to have a hard time and the golems have terrible pathing too and if we have a bunch of stuff on there and it decides to walk through here to a jar over there it's going to have a hard time so we're keeping it clear um so i'm going to put a lot of stuff overhead as well so let me just get a little platform to work from actually let's go down one lower if i put a bunch of heads and stuff above let's see where it should go actually Oh, fine. Um, yeah, I don't think we can go lower than that because that's going to interfere with that. It probably won't stop it, but it'll just look weird. So, yeah, I'm going to set it up. Okay, that's good. And I, the reason I did that is that's a place... Now, I actually may have messed up. Maybe I can't stick them there, but we need a bunch of heads. And also we made these crystals, too. And they need to go all over the place. Maybe the crystals... You can put them in here. That's not really in the way too badly. There and there and there. And they're so nice and tinkly. I think these things actually are an obstruction though. So, oh, they break when you do that. Check that out. Okay. And I don't have enough room. So let's send some of this stuff back. Okay, I'm wasting time. <laughs> and I never have enough time in these episodes. All right. Can you stick heads upside down? Let's see. And let's put one on top of each of these first. You can't. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. That's better. Now we can decorate. So let me see. Let me get right in the middle of it. So I think it is right here. And yeah, we're just going to place a bunch of heads facing us. And all this stuff, like I said, just gives stability to it. And maybe we'll do a, a checker pattern of, let me see, that would go there. If I stand right here in the middle, they'll all face me just right, too. <laughs> so, let's see. Like that. And I'll just skip ahead. To that. <laughs> Beautiful. I can't get out. <laughs> get my... Uh, shovel. I got a shovel in here somewhere. Okay. Let me free myself and clean up, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully that's enough to make it stable, and if not, it just makes it look kind of cool anyway. <laughs> a little constellation of heads above it, so... I'm going to stop talking and move on. So to make our golem work and start doing our alchemy for us, like all golems, he's going to need a core. And I haven't actually made any night tour yet, but uh, this is two of the three pieces I found out in the world. So we're going to go ahead and make it like that. There's our two first two golem cores. And while I'm standing here, I'm going to go ahead and grab an upgrade, a water upgrade for this guy, because these improve their range. And it goes on their belly button so we can go ahead and do that now this core doesn't do anything yet we're gonna have to do some infusion stuff on it um, which is why we made this whole thing today so uh, among all the other things we can do with it and the thing we're gonna need to do is gonna take those guys so oh that just went with those and so we put a ward a jar and a bottle of water bottle of water bottle of water and then we're all set uh the three aspects we need are water and magic uh precantatio and oh, where am i going and we need modus i think which is under where is the modus over here it might be able to reach all the way to, over to here um but i'm not sure of that so let's just go ahead and grab it and place it down somewhere like on top of our file cabinet and i think we're ready to go i think we just need to whack this thing with a wand 
and we shall get our first golem core. So here we go. Our first infusion, whatever it's called. <laughs> I was about to look in the book, but we're going to do it. And again, <laughs> I haven't done something right. What did I do wrong? Back to the book. See, what are we trying to do? We're trying to make this the alchemy core, water jar, water bottle, water bottle. And oh, it's a decanting core. Okay. What did I need to do for that? I needed vacuos and do it in the in the crucible. Okay. Time to get some vacuos. And vacuos is in let's see, I know it's in bowls. What else is it in? It's in all these things. Actually, I don't think I scanned the bowl yet, uh, which is probably the cheapest thing I can do. All those four of them in a chest. All right. Well, I'm going to get a water jar full of some vacuo so I can do glass bottles too. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then uh, we'll make the decanting core and then we'll do this. Okay. Give me that back. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and we didn't scan any of this stuff either. Ooh, nice. One full jar of vacuos. Let's attach it to our little automatic alchemy system here. And now, let me see if I take this out and I put um, the core. Let's see if I get the recipe for don't want gather. I want to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Decanting. Oh, and it wants water too. So let me grab some water. Hopefully we have plenty for both operations. And you can go there. And now, you ready to make my stuff? You lost my recipe. There. Decanting. Do it. Something I'm missing when you click these. I'm not sure what it is. There we go. I think I had to just cancel out the previous recipe. I think. So we got... Our decanting core, and that was just for filling up the crucible if you're using that system, but we're skipping that entirely. Okay, put that back on there. All my things still hanging out. Oh, let's move our water back. Gonna need this. Get down here in my hot bar. You can go back in your little water spot right there. And Abracadabra, peanut butter and jelly. Oh yeah. Okay, so there he goes. It's taking the precantitio out the bottom. Getting some magic. We gotta keep an eye on our stuff on the pedestals. Make sure it doesn't fall down. Cat Dog Pig Duck has a trick where he has little hoppers feeding the things to it to make sure that they don't, if they fall off, that they get replaced. But I don't know. I don't want a bunch of hoppers here. And hopefully we've made it stable enough. Uh, but there it was sucking up the modus and now it's taking the stuff took a and did it do it is that it yes it is excellent all right so we're going to attach this golem to here yep that's what we got to do click him on the chest and then that chest and then we click him on the chest like that oh i've got a purpose in life hello welcome little sentient being and let's give him the seafar belly button <laughs> there you are we'll give him some glasses and stuff later but that's cool and theoretically if we stick some jars in here and some jars around out here for him to fill uh, and like i said his pathing is pretty bad I guess he's just gonna have to walk through here. There's no way around it. But we give him some things like that to fill up. And then uh, let's move that 
And then hopefully he'll know what to do. Actually, let's not use that one. That one matches. <laughs> okay, so I got all these things in here we need to do to finish the rest of the things we're going to do for the episode. Uh, I know it's long, but I got to get to where I'm going because it's just too cool. So let's throw that in there. And as soon as there's some stuff up there, uh, hopefully he knows what to do. Okay, <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> there's going to be some trick. It's going to be something I messed up on, for sure. I'm pretty sure you attach him to the chest, because he's got to have a source of... All right, I'm going to the book. Uh, he's got to be assigned to the furnace. Okay. I'm going to try the left click. No, wait, I'm going to look it up. <laughs> and that's not a Gollomancer's bell, either. Be right back. Okay, left clicking does... Pick them up with all their upgrades. Get back in here. This is your job right there. Okay. Whoa. And he appears with a warded jar already. Maybe he I don't need to give him warded jars. He just knows what to do. Is that right? I think. Or do I need to connect? Oh, I need to connect him to all these places, right? All right. I think I know what to do now. I've got to click him right click him onto his home there and then let's select him we just right click on him and it will show where his home is there he's got his little his little magical leash and then we need to uh, right click on each of the attached jars they got to be adjacent to each other so those I think are adjacent but these aren't so click on this little area and this little area and this is the one that should make a leap into action because this one's got some empty jars, and this little stack of empty jars, and that one. So you don't have to click on every jar, but, and I'm right clicking if I didn't say that, but, you know, like I said, each uh, adjacent set of jars, and then he knows what to do. Uh, yeah. So now he is doing that work for me. I will never have to empty this again. And one other little thing I'm going to do with you guys watching here. Uh, before we take a break while this all gets done is in here in here i've got an item conduit because some of the things in here like the hose which i want to get the i think it's the mito uh, the little sickle one um that you can only put them in one at a time so it does you well to actually connect this to where'd it go oh yeah uh right here connect it with a, a hopper or an item duct i'm going to use an item duct item conduit in this case um, because hoppers can be weird sometimes and cause lag so we're just going to send all these things in here now everything i stick in the chest we'll, we don't need that in there will get broken down into its aspects and they're going to all go into jars and all i got to do is make sure He's got enough jars, so we're just going to put these around all over, the, oh, all over the place for him, and he'll be my happy little alchemy golem. I'm waiting a while for him to finish, and he's kind of slow, so here's some black wool and some string. Let's grab him a bow tie. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Golem. Let's wait till he comes back, and we'll grab him. Okay, you ready? Okay, he's got a bow tie. <laughs> and that's supposed to have increased his pace. He seems a little faster. He's kind of in a little fast shuffle rather than just a slow saunter. And look at him. He can't go that way. At least not very well. i tell you about their path then. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap this up by making two more golems to do that job. And I don't care if this episode is long or not. I don't know right now. I suspect it is. But I'm going to do this because <laughs> I've been waiting. So there's some Ignis and some Potentia and some Lux. So we can put uh, right here. And then, so the trick was I was messing up before. You got to clear that. Okay. And then if we put this in, 
we should be able to make some nitor. And it's going to go right for it. And what we need nitor for is so we can make another golem core. Did I bring any bricks? Probably didn't. There's some bricks. So I got a wand in here. Let's see if it's got what I need. There we go. Another golem core. Excellent. So what we're going to make with these now is we need two. We need a gather uh, and a harvest. So there's a gather. That's the simplest one. And we can just make it in the crucible with Terra and Lucrum. So we got that. Or whenever I say crucible, I mean alchemical construct now. So, And then the other one is the harvest. And we can do that in the crucible as well. So let me just collect my Mito, my Messis, and what were the other two? My Terra and my Lucrum. All right, be right back. All right, got all those jars online. Clear that. Uh, clear that. Put these in. And then I think that's the first one we want. We want to gather. Let me just put one in because I don't want to make two gathers right now. And that's the one who's going to pick stuff up. So there we go. There's that one. Awesome. Clear it. Put the other one in. That's just the glitch. And then we want that one, the harvest. And it's going to make that. Awesome. We should just be able to go in there and claim them. Very good, very good. We got 20 Nitor for later, too. So the harvest dude, he's going to need an upgrade. Did I do it in one of these? I thought I did. Yeah, let's throw a wand in there. He's going to need the order upgrade, and that's going to make him plant them when he breaks them and harvests. But he's just going to leave them on the ground. And then I think we're good. We might need some spectacles or something. I'm not sure. But let's just go try it. So who are our two new friends? How about you and you? You look like the best of all those. So you guys come here. So the harvest guy, he doesn't need to be attached to a chest or anything. Um, I guess he just needs to be near. So let's just place him right there. Hello, buddy. You are a harvest guy. Let's give you your order core first. <laughs> Stop sulking. <laughs> There's his little belly button. And that is the harvest one, I'm pretty sure. Yes, what do you think? And he's just going to go around and start breaking stuff. So we need a dude who's going to pick up the mess. So right here, let's get an ender chest. And we'll put that... It's kind of going to block him. I guess I can always move him if I want. And uh, So he can only see that far. So we actually might need to put him in the middle. Okay, good to know. Let's pick you up. You're too short-sighted. And I think gatherers can see farther. So let's take this guy. He's going to get attached to the top of that chest. We'll give him his gather core. You got a mission. Pick everything up. Now, Mr. Harvest did plant. So that's awesome. Um, but he won't... If there's any extra ender lilies, I think like that one, he won't plant them. So those will just go into the ME, which is where this goes to. Hopefully he can get everything. So for Mr. Harvest, why don't we just give him a spot right in the middle? And then hopefully he'll be able to reach everything. And now the trick will be is if Mr. Gather can do it all. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm never going to have to do this again. <laughs> and the amount of Ender Pearls is going to be insane with this. Uh, so I'm just going to hang out for a minute and make sure that gather dude can get all the way over to here when he picks those up i'll be pretty clear that he can you know what let's make him a pair of spectacles just to be safe and i believe it's just some glass and some iron let's see yes okay so let me get those things ah i want to do that okay I think I should have all that in here. So glass, iron, and yeah, that's good. Some glasses. I am now an optician. There we go. <laughs> and 
Let's scan these actually. Spectacles. He can make a spectacle of himself. Oh, he was coming to pick it up. So actually, he's pretty good. He can see all kinds of stuff. I may not want to give him to him because if he can make it all the way over there, dang. <laughs> he's got this covered. And I don't want him picking stuff up all the way over there. So I'll keep the spectacles for myself. Very cool. And I bet we got a couple more ender lilies. We got one. So I'll just have to check here once in a while. But, you know, at this rate, I won't need to plant every one. And the good thing is these things don't seem to hurt them at all. They're not ouch ouch itching. Anyway, so I got to what I wanted to get today. I didn't get my portable hole focus or my equal trade focus yet. But I won't push it that far. Uh, this episode is probably pretty long. We'll see. I'll see when I edit it. Anyway, this is Monkey Puzzle. I had a great time. My place is getting full. It's looking good now. So that's awesome. Thank you for watching until the very end. And I appreciate y'all. Anyway, <laughs> we'll do plenty more cool stuff next time. For now, signing out. Let's watch these guys work. Bye-bye.